done by the end of January. Originally, I wrote the I wrote the songs to be the soundtrack of the movie, but uh, what happened was that that was such a confusing undertaking for myself that I decided that at some point, you know what, these songs are great on their own. I'm just going to focus on the music, and at this point, I've done that. And uh, so the music is is done. I recorded. I went up to Asheville with Mike, where he lives. Tall, tall trees, everybody, my lord. And I recorded with a band for the first time. Uh, I know that sounds unusual. Uh, I'm a solo artist. Usually I just stay in my own place and I just make the music and I play everything and then I get people to replace things like drums. But this time, I went up with a bunch of talented musicians. Mike, for the first time, Mike, you've been playing with me for what? About eight years, 10 years? Yep. And he's never played on any of my albums. <laughs> Which is a shame. Shame on me. Sorry, Mike. That's all right. But one of my best friends and also a huge collaborator. Um, he's also steered me clear of trouble. Also steered me right into trouble, uh, <laughs> among other things. But in general, he's kept me alive. I love you, Mike. Oh, I love you, too. I didn't realize I played with such talented musicians. So Mike is on the album, and then I had... Um, and uh, so this is one of the songs, I'm just going to play one song. This is called uh, Theme for Jerome. So the movie, in, in a short, I know this is not a very um, celebratory theme, but uh, it's about, it's kind of about oppression. It's about, um, I, know, I said oppression. Uh, uh, so it's about oppression, it's about discrimination, it's about the short history of Japanese American incarceration during the world, World War II history, it's about minority identity, things I didn't really dive into until recently. My name's, of course my name is Kei Ishibashi, but my real name is Kaoru. So, one of these things that I've recently done in the last year is I've decided to go back to my name that my grandfather gave me. It's a little hard to pronounce. It's, uh, it's Kaoru. Maybe it's time that maybe in America we can all pronounce names that are not from, you know, the Bible. But another thing I also want to say is that bringing in this new year, uh, we are having, um, you know, this country, I'm, I'm very, without getting too political, which is impossible these days, um, I want to say that I'm very optimistic. This country is really for everybody. It's kind of, it's changing. It's a really different time, you know, and it's, we're seeing a lot of, a lot of division, but the real reason is that this country is going through a very dynamic change in that it's not really just for white oh, people, um, and, uh, but people of, I'm privileged too, you know, I have, my parents are professors and I play violin and I, I play music for a living, so I understand. It's really for everybody, and I think that understanding is really what I'd like to bring in, and I feel very excited about where this country is headed in the future, in the, in the, in 2019. So. The song is about losing your culture. After today, we speak the new heavy word from the comfort of my hands. Cause after all, Father, the war, the enemies I 
Seven.